So this is not what we had planned for today. Today we had uh, planned we were going to have crepes and galettes with maybe some friends at the Anchorage. And instead we are hauling out our boat. Did they lose steering? You need to move again. Did they lose steering? You're coming forward. Okay. We don't we don't have any uh What the f What happened? Is it your boat or charter? I mean, it's fully cracked. I mean, the whole hole's cracked. Yeah. Is there any water? No. Like, it was huge, but, but this is 20, 20, 25 tons, probably. 20, yeah. And, 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 <laughs> you, you are the, uh, the owner? Yeah. yeah. Come on oh, in. Yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry. Hello. Okay, coming. What's your name? Stefan. I'm really sorry for um, the situation. Um, what happened? Blocked uh, the command. What about the no. steering wheel? What about the steering wheel? Yes, uh, all, all the systems was blocked. But the steering wheel? No, the steering wheel works, but it was concentrated trying to... You need to steer. The boat is moving. Water is flowing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, you had a chance. You had a chance to avoid, or at least minimize the impact. I, I know. I know. I if was, you focus I, on, on, I was blocked. I, I would. I and nobody focus else. In, in a start uh, to restart the engines. And, and nobody else on the boat sails with you. No, because the, the people was uh, one inside, another outside. Where we are three. And, and nobody. It, was a f it happened that happened. Okay. Um, thank you for okay, stopping no. by and for being. Uh, um, and I'm really taking sorry. Um, nothing. Uh, this. Uh, anything that can help you? Just, just tell me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So you saw them. We saw them when I passed by here, and we were drinking coffee, and they were doing uh, five and a half, six knots, I reckon. Wait, we were, we were just saying, what What are they doing? This is way too quick. This is an anchorage. And then they went around here and, and we didn't see, I didn't see what they were doing there until they were coming straight against you. And I reckon they had three and a half, four knots when they hit. Yeah. It was really hard. We saw your whole mast was probably Because you saw the whole the thing, right? I, oh, I was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like asking them like, you know, I like, oh, I just like, I, I heard you say, arm. hey, hey, yeah. And I was on the side when he got hit, like uh, almost, Oh, yeah, it was yeah. Hard. I, like, I mean, yeah. when they when they when they hit, I was coming up the stairs, yeah, and it, it was, hit, and I your whole boat was doing this uh, really hard. So then you need to do some phone calls to your insurance company yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. so and I just sent him going. the I just sent him the documents. I'm going to attempt to summarize what just happened about an hour ago. Uh, basically, we were T-boned um, by a Bali uh, 5.4 flag de Montenegro. 
it was a skipper on board actually there are two skippers on board somehow they lost control of the boat and um, they came and hit our hull at about between four and six knots of speed um, head on their port bow hit our starboard hull um, direct, directly perpendicular we have no water ingress but um, we have damage and we're going now into the marina um, yeah I don't know I don't know what's going to happen. We're trying to just focus on the next right thing and not think too far ahead of what we're doing right now. So we're getting lifted right now. Uh, we're trying to line everything up in the boat. Ouais, ça l'air pas trop mal. Stefan's double checking where the lifting straps go. Yeah. Looks good. I know it's a sad moment, but in the big picture, we're in Martinique where we Tomé as a base, French large services. We're in Martinique where there is like competent people to do the work. The incident happened during the day. We were on the boat. Yeah. Uh, there was no water ingress. As we moved the boat, no water came in. The bow was not moving. So there is a lot of work to do. But it could have been worse. It in the big picture worse. of things, we're in good hands. We're in the right place. It's during the day. The incident happened a couple of hours ago. The boat is being lifted out. Quentin came to help us to navigate <laughs> through the buoys and the, the hundreds of boats. And uh, so now the next step is, uh, yeah, organize our life a little bit because the boat is going to be on the heart for probably a few weeks at best. And uh, first step is going to be administrative stuff. Surveyor, there's already like uh, Grand Large Services already organized a local surveyor with, with, with our insurance. To come do this, there is the company that does all composite work. There's also the guys here. So it's like things cannot be moving faster right now. The bigger thing is going to be once we have the quotes, how much time is it going to take to get the approval from the other third party insurance? So why don't you help them in? And that's 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 the biggest uh, question yeah. mark before the work can start. This is not really what we had planned today, uh, but I feel like we're in good hands. Uh, Outremer rallied and they got everything lined up. Um, they already have someone who can come and survey it and give us a quote and uh, start the work, which is incredible. Uh, that happened at 12.30 and I think it's probably 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Thank you so much, guys. On a bright note, the bottom looks clean. So, we're going to need a new sticker. That's for sure. So, they're going to start to put it down on the uh, on the horse. What do you call this? A sawhorse? Stand. I suppose. Positioning it. Moment of truth. I heard for a win. Uh, I went brought us here safely. Owen was, Owen was just chilling at anchor and totally got like punched. 
So kind of feeling like, yeah, that punch in the stomach. Uh, I feel bad for us uh, because now we're kind of in limbo. Uh, well, I mean, granted that given the circumstances to be already on the hard, to already have the paperwork being signed with nurses, to have a composite specialist here, to have experts of different things, like we're on, in the right island. We could be in a very tiny island with no facilities and, and the risk of we would not be able to take sea with the, the hull like this potentially. So in the drama that happened today, um, there's a little bit of luck. I feel bad for Wittermer because we uh, have done everything possible to go to the Miami Boat Show and we were starting to look at charts today and planning. And right now they are going to be in limbo. And so, yeah, it's, it's a mix of emotions right now. We also can be uh, super grateful for the people from Grand Lodge Services, Anti. I mean, they reacted so quickly. Uh, well, we called Edouard <laughs> uh, from the after sales service. Edouard quickly contacted them. We had met them already yesterday and the day before. Uh, they quickly arranged that we could get a haul out today. Uh, so thank you, Aurore. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, Quentin. Quentin came on board and helped us navigate uh, all, all the way here. Uh, they're helping us. They're doing everything to help us. And uh, yeah, so grateful for that. Uh, we feel also, yeah, the overall support of uh, Outremer. Uh, trying to help us find a place to stay. We'll stay on the boat tonight, but we'll move out. And also our insurance. Yeah, uh, we have... Uh, our broker is Jeff Rodelassi, and then uh, we've been in touch with him. Uh, he gave us some homework. We're trying to do the, <laughs> what he has asked us to do is get all the paperwork. By the end of our day, we'll send that to him so he can start uh, doing what is necessary with the other insurance company. Um, yeah, uh, feel bad also for the skipper on the other boat. Um, it's an accident and it's yeah it's um yeah he's got to feel pretty bad yeah definitely uh, yeah feel bad for him and i must say he apologized he was sorry and and you know in this case you never know some people can be combative arguing and and he was not and to his credit um he remained calm took responsibility and and uh so um yeah uh Feeling bad for, for him as well. Yeah, so we don't really know what the implications are. Um, and we don't know what the rest of the season has in store. But um, I'm reminded the first time Stefan and I kind of had a sailing situation. We were bringing the mast down for his little boat his more 24 do you remember that mm -hmm. and um, anyway long story short uh, we broke the little attachment where the mast attached to the boat and I felt so bad about it and um, well, you almost killed me. I didn't almost kill you well you're the one who had me like hold the mast with like one arm the mast came down full force anyway um, I shouldn't be taking a mask down. Um, anyway, what Stefan said to me is people that do stuff break stuff. And um, that is definitely true. We were doing stuff, so uh, that's what happens. I think the other lesson is how useless fear is from holding you back from doing what you want to do. You know, because here you can be like, full of fear to cross an ocean and then you cross an ocean and then you get hit by a boat at the anchorage which is something that's you're not really afraid of so 
yeah, fear is pretty useless, I would say, in this in this instance, for sure.